I'm back with another video. This one is a makeup tutorial and it is based off Marquesa's autumn winter catwalk look. Um, it's really really fresh skin, very kind of minimal browns on the eyes, very nude, muted and then a deeper lip. Now I know we're coming into spring summer but obviously as you know they show their collections a season ahead so I was absolutely in love with this look I would wear this look in summer you could change it up with like a pink lip or a nude lip or something like that but I think this quintessential very fresh skin look is really 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 it's always going to be a winner now my hair as well I just put it into a little kind of faux bob I'm not really good with hair but basically that was the kind of look that they were doing now what I did for my hair because I didn't really go into that in the video if any of you are interested I used my Remington Pearl Conical Wand, some hairspray and some a little teasing brush, back on my brush just to get it a bit of shape in it. Now the look that I was actually inspired by is here, I'll show you. So it was mainly this girl right here um, who's fantastic but it's like quite a strong brow that really chiseled look without being too crazy contoured um, even though I'm pretty sure that's just her face and also like the kind of just very muted brows. So if you'd like to have a look at the video it's coming up now I want to stop waffling I hope you enjoyed if you do please like please subscribe and let me know if you have any ideas for videos that you would like me to do so I'm going to prepare you because in three two one you're going to see my makeup less face three two one boom first of all I apologize for my voice I'm a little bit sick today but I use Genifique and skin drink by Lush in order to prepare my skin, I want it to be really moisturized. Then I use some Becca resurfacing primer and some strobe cream mixed together to prep my skin. So I just mix that on the back of my hand. And I applied it with my Real Techniques face brush. It's the buffing brush. Um, I pretty much use this for every step. I just sped that right up. Um, I use that for most steps. So then I'm just using my sleek palette in dark to do my brows, keep my brows on fleek. I'm sure you've seen someone do their brow before. If you want to see a brow tutorial, let me know. The brows were quite strong in this look, so I wanted to recreate that. And then I softened it with a brow brush because I didn't want it too harsh, although it was quite strong. Okay, the next thing I want to do is prime my lids with the Put A Lid On A Primer by The Balm. This is a great primer, it's just clear and um, you do need to leave it set for a while. So I'm just going to put it on and then I'm going to leave it set while I get on with everything else. And what I am going to do is I am going to put a concealer over it. So I'm going to use the Instant Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline and that just has its own applicator so I'm just going to put that on and over the lids as well mix that in with the primer and then I'm just going to blend it with the buffing brush that has the stroke cream and the Becca primer on it because it'll just really work it into the skin I use this for all our steps then the amazing concealer they're all the shades we got a sample of this at the recent into the west blogger network meetup we got four shades and i'm actually going to use it to do a soft contour today as well as covering up some blemishes now this stuff is phenomenal oh my god i can't even i need it it's really thick it's heavy duty but it's quite expensive but i'll definitely be purchasing it can't wait to have it just in my collection it's amazing so as you can see I'm just covering any red patches there and now I'm just mapping in my contoured areas and then just along the forehead as well and I'm using the darkest shade that I had in it for that so the shade I used was dark caramel sorry yeah dark caramel and then the colour that was kind of my shade was fair golden. And again, I'm just going to use that buffing brush because it has the strobe cream on it. And it really works into the skin because this look, it was so fresh, really seamless. 
and then I'm going over it with some Fix Plus and then going ahead with my foundation which is the Liquid Mineral Foundation by Youngblood in Sunkissed. And again, the same brush. I'm using the same brush the whole way through because the product is still on it, that moisturiser is still in it, the stroke cream, so it really works it into the skin and makes it seamless, which I absolutely love. Then I'm going over with a cream bronzer and it is matte, so I'm just going into my contour areas with a tapered kind of angled blush brush by Sigma and that's the Chanel Soleil de Tan de Chanel which is absolutely gorgeous especially for this look where it's quite fresh we want something that is cream based that's just the brush I use now I'm just going to use some of the Instain blush by The Balm just on the cheeks to give that kind of rosy glow back to the cheeks and then I'm going to set it with just a little bit of my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm using this Duo Fibre Face Brush by Real Techniques because it picks up very little product so you're not going to lose that kind of sheen to the skin, it's just going to set it and make it last. And then oh beautiful Hourglass Triple Highlighter so it has the three lighting, I think it's ambient light, dim light and something else I'll list it all down below but I just put that in the center of my face just all in the center because that's where the glow was mainly kept and this is so gorgeous it's very expensive but so worth money and then two paint pots groundwork and constructivist by Mac so I'm going to put groundwork all over the lid and then use constructivist to define all over the lid using my fingers it's best to use your fingers with these so you can really really work it in and I'm just going to blend this in because groundwork is a little bit more kind of slapdash you can do what you want you can use your finger but I'm going to use a brush for constructivist because I want to be more measured in where I place it so I'm going to place it under the eyes and you'll see in a minute that I place it just kind of in the outer V but I still blend it out with my finger and this is just a little flat brush from MAC. I'm just going to blend that out with my finger as you can see now. Okay. Just still blending it out. It's all about being blended very much into the skin. And then I'm just going to put, there was a little bit of sheen. It seemed a bit glossy, but it seemed more like a pigment to me. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of tan pigment my MAC. Tan, can you speak? And then lashes by LA Creative, just individual lashes. So I'm going to put about six individuals on each eye and they are long. The look is quite subtle, you wouldn't want to put a strip lash with this. So I just have some duo on the back of my hand and I'm just placing them down with the tweezers. And I curled my lashes before I did this as well. So I said how I did the hair there, it was kind of that faux bob. And then I'm going to take burgundy lip liner fill in my lips and when they're filled in I want to really work it in with a lip brush because the lips that they had on the show were very much like as if they were stained rather than freshly applied so I'm going to use burgundy lip liner and then I'm going to use hang up lipstick over top of that And then I'm going to use the Clarence uh, Mascara. I don't know the name of it. I got some on my face. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the look. Bye.